Today I'm gonna to share with you 10 little tips or tricks on how you could use your DJI microphone. Now, not all tricks are audio related, but if you are a filmmaker, one of these tricks is gonna help you during your production shots. Now, disclaimer, I am not sponsored, I'm not paid. Uh, this is mine, I've, I've actually used it over a 300 kilometer scooter challenge, and I found it really, really helpful. And through my experience and how I've used it, I just wanna share with you some of my tips. Some of these tricks, you don't need a DJI microphone. You can use any wireless, uh, but some is very dedicated to this particular device. Okay. First tip is the capability of self-recording using one of these microphones. This is super handy. It eliminates the need of a recording pen or a recording recorder like a Zoom H4 or H6. Um, you can use one of these and it's been so small and versatile, it's just so convenient. Now because you're able to record up to 14 hours of lossless audio, 24-bit WAV files on one of these little devices, uh, it makes it really convenient for me to record voiceovers. Now like me, your previous workflow might be to edit your footage and then go to post and then maybe fill in the voiceovers, right? Now that's very troublesome because you're going back and forth, but now all you have to do is have this. All I do is record my voiceovers and then through the Type-C, I connect it to my computer and I can use the WAV file straight away. Now Rode has this function as well, but unfortunately you need the Rode software to be able to decode the file, whereas DJI, you can see it and use it straight away from the hard drive. So this really has saved a lot of time through my workflow, especially during the last minute where you just wanna record one or two of those sentences, this has been a lifesaver. Now because this can self-record, it does have a hard drive. Not a very big space, eight gigabytes per little device. So two of this, you get 16. Obviously, you wouldn't use it as a portable hard drive given the space size, but when you're in a pinch, it's, you might be surprised. 16 gigs can actually save you a lot of footage and spaces, especially your drone shots or a couple of photos. You can have it on here and then free up some space and then just keep shooting. So something to keep in mind, you know, it's multiple users is actually very versatile. Okay, now tip number three, because it's wireless and it is a transmitter, you could use it like a transmitter. It accepts 3.5 meter meter jacks. So what you can do is place it on your shotgun mic like I do, and then during your interview or your if you're recording sound and you wanna get some uh, ambience, foliage, you know, sound effects, you can use this as a wireless transmitter, transfer it to your receiver, and then you can record straight either to your phone or you can through your camera or whatever your recording device would be. Now the transmitting distance on this is around 250 meters. Of, now I have not gone through that far, but have a look at this footage. Now this is around 150 meters and I was going through a toll booth. I'm gonna push through this ETC. Should be fine. And one thing to note, I'm actually back facing the receiver. So that means I have an obstacle. Now, if you know wireless devices and how they travel, if you're back facing your receiver, it's gonna really affect your transmission quality. So at this distance, it's not too bad. Back onto our topic. Now, because you can use it as a shotgun mic, you can also use it as a microphone. So you can put this on a tripod or a stick. I've used a 360 selfie stick and that's extendable. So quite convenient. And then basically just tape it around and then use it as a microphone. You could also put one of the dead cats that comes with the kit onto it. It's very secure, you just twist it on and it doesn't come loose. So that's one good thing about this. So you can use it inside and outside. So if you're at an event or a venue and you're interviewing someone or multiple people, you can just basically point and shoot and record. Uh, makes it really convenient. And with this extension stick, I can actually pick up sound effects, uh, foliage, you know, uh, specific areas of focus, uh, which is quite good. So something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about the design. The back of this is actually clipped on by either a clip or a very strong magnet. How strong? Let me show you. Very strong. Now in fact, during my 300 kilometer test, I fell over on my scooters. Yes, that's me. My ugly face and my two feet leaving the scooter as I was lifting off from earth. I think everything's okay. So kids, do be careful when you're outside trying these things. Uh, I fell over but the only thing that was heard was my ego and my butt. The, the microphone did not fall off and it worked perfectly fine. In, in fact, the 24 hour challenge, we went through snow, storm, uh, rain, and then I was shooting at night as well. And with the wind and with the snow covering the dead cat, everything looked fine. So quality is really good and it's actually very, very solid. And because it's magnetic, you can put it a lot of little places, right? You can put it in any place that's metal surface or hide it in certain areas but do it legally, obviously. And you can actually place it underneath, so then your little microphone can stand up. So as you're talking on the table, for example, you can record directly into the mic. Another thing you could do, for example, I've got a microphone here. Uh, you could have this, you know, 
kind of just stick on the side, use it as a backup self-recording mic, or you can plug into uh, one of these adapters, uh, XLR into a 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, and then send audio wirelessly to your receiver. So then you're not limited by the cord length. So a lot of different options you can play with, uh, but yeah, just convenient having it being a magnet at the back. Now the next tip, I think the thing about this is convenience, right? A lot of the time we would go out and record sound or foliage or whatever that you might want to record or interview, uh, you would have to carry one of these boxes, right? And you have all your gears inside, your microphone, your recorder, all that good stuff. But right now, I think all you need is right one of these. Let me show you my package. So you open this up, I've got a DD microphone here in case I need to pick up good quality sound. I've got a DJI mic just to, as a receiver and a backup recorder at the same time. And because the receiver comes with two adapters, a Type-C and a Lightning, you can use your phone as a audio recorder. So you can see your waveform and you can see the sound and then you can play it back and, and monitor your sound. And if I want really good quality, I stick it onto my shotgun mic and then just record straight off that. Now, while on the topic of phones, yes, this is obviously compatible with your mobile devices, makes it really good. So if you're a streamer and if you like to do selfies or vlog or you know just shoot a TikTok, uh, you want that really good audio quality, right? So just plug it in and it's ready to go. Very, very good. Now, one extra function that I really like here is a little tip uh, that's specific for DJI is that you can actually control your phone's recording functions. So one click of a button, it'll start recording, and then one click again, it will stop recording. It saves a lot of time for you to travel back and forth and going around this table, for example, and if I had my phone over there. I think these little tips are just helpful as a content creator. So the next one, this is not audio related at all, but if you're like me, you like to shoot product shots uh, behind the scenes and specifically your phone, for example, right? This is an iPhone. To have a standing straight up is very difficult. Uh, you would have to mount a tripod or some kind of device underneath to support this and then you would have to tape it off and then it gets in the way of your screen, gets obstructed and then in post you have to clean it. Very difficult, right? But if you have a DJI microphone, because it comes with an adapter, uh, you plug it in at the bottom and you can use it as a stand to stand it vertically without any problem. And during post, all you have to do is remove the adapter underneath or just clean out the green screen and you've got yourself a very clean shot. Now the next trick is sometimes it might be helpful, you know, just to remove that call while you're monitoring your sound and you can do it through your headset. Uh, what I like to do is here's a headset and using an adapter, I can plug this with my receiver and become a wireless uh, monitoring device, right? I can monitor my sound without having a cord. I can walk around because the transmission is so long. I can walk, you know, fairly far and then monitor the sound that's coming from the transmitter. And to record, all you have to do is press record on itself and it will record basically all the audio right there on the spot. So you don't actually need a camera or you don't need a recording device. Uh, this whole thing can do it itself and then you all you have to do is put it on your headset and then listen. So this depends on your profession, uh, what you do mostly. You know, some people might not find this helpful, but some people might only need the audio. So they have a headset, put it on, and then have this start recording, you know, whether it be a voiceover or it will be, you know, interviewing someone or just to get some kind of sound. So that eliminates the need of having a 3.5 millimeter core that's, you know, dragging along and then you're limited by the travel range. Finally, I think this is just a built-in feature. I think safetyness is, is very important. So this thing has the ability of recording a safe channel. So by that mean, you can record a normal audio at your set level and then a second audio automatically at six dBs below. So that really helps in case you have a blowout of your audio and you can't recover in post. So that's super important. And then because it can also self-record, like I am right now, uh, you can have an extra backup audio just in case. So, you know, something like this is really important from all the tricks that I mentioned above, you know, having this core focus of backup and ensuring that audio is usable, stable, uh, it's always a game changer.